If you like happy endings, you'll love Underhill, Vermont. A small town which, for the time being at least, is the nation's capital of happy endings. I can't believe this. I'm not a hero. Underhill is home to Richard Phillips, the hero's ship captain, who survived days as a pirate's hostage after trading himself for his crew's safety. The moment that we knew that he, that he was safe, it was just such a relief on everybody's part. I mean, it was just, uh, and I think, you know, the whole town has come together because of this thing. But it's more than relief they're feeling here. It's pride that the nation's newest face of bravery is one of their own. Father Charles Danielson speaks for many here. You know, you have somebody who's just a real, a real decent, honorable, good and heroic human being. Um, and he's right next door, practically. Um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's awesome. And it's a story that resonates loudly beyond Underhill. Phillips is the perfect bookend for Captain Chesley Sullenberger, the pilot who safely brought down his doomed jet in the Hudson, saving 155 lives in the process. That makes twice in the last three months Americans have had uncommonly pure examples of courageous choices made under the most intense pressure. I think he's just like a salt of the sea guy. Michael Moran, who's known Phillips for 20 years, says that is what is so inspiring. The reminder that you never know what the regular guy next door is capable of in the best of ways. You wouldn't think of him acting the way that he did, but now looking back at it, I think he would have, he'd do the same thing in a heartbeat again. Captain Phillips left for work a couple of weeks ago, an anonymous and ordinary guy. He came back on a charter jet with a state police escort to a town full of yellow ribbons and with a very valuable story to tell. That's quite a business trip, Jeff. Sounds like a Jim Axelrod in Vermont. Jim, thank you tonight.